leisure your dog to start with, you might want to take your ears a little bit of treat. And we're just gonna start teaching both. Sit. Teaching your dog to sit before you put the leash on your dog and then you put the treat going through the loop so that your dog is actually putting the head through the loop. That's a very good boy. There we go. And we're not gonna use any other treats today. But girls, as you're gonna stay here. All right, other great opportunity to teach manners. Sit. He's at the door. Good boy wait and i'm gonna open the door and the dog is not gonna go through the doorway until i give a permission Shh. break all right so to avoid your dog pulling too much i'm just gonna teach a couple of things that you can do to um to help with achieving this rather like a follow me situation rather than going ahead of me so come on boy come here so what i'm gonna do here he's already going ahead of me so i'm gonna start pushing in and he's hey little correction at least i'm pushing him in and i want him to actually give me weight boy more of that good boy and as you can see he's starting to follow me right in there good boy come on if he gets distracted like me Boy, you can use a little leash tongue. And this way, if you have a reactive dog as well, your dog is paying attention to you rather than all the things around you. So, go we sit. I'm also using body language because dogs do read body language before they actually listen to our voice. I'm just gonna stay. Okay. So we can't. Boy, quick, quick. It's <laughs> a good boy. Very relaxed. Sit. Good boy and down. That's a good boy. Well done, buddy. Alright. Also, don't forget to connect with the energy and just have this feeling of leading your dog when you go for a walk. And anytime your dog starts walking ahead of you or starts getting too distracted, you can always anywhere just do this and start walking up and down the and this way, eventually, you will be able to just remove the leash as well on your own. Come on. Good boy.